Yo, what's up guys? My name is Randolph. Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be opening a birthday Pokemon card mystery box. Now, I have no idea the value on this thing. The title does of course have a value, but that's going to be decided after the fact when I find out. For now though, as I'm recording this, I have no idea what's inside of this box, but I'm super, super excited to open it and I can't wait for it. For those who don't know, it was my birthday yesterday on the 13th of May and Laura has worked together with her family and also with Kalshar, one of the subscribers of this channel who previously did me a mystery box to supply like this one and it was really funny when I was opening it actually like I didn't open the wrapping paper because I was like wait this is exactly what Kalshar did and then Laura was like yeah we actually sorted it out with him so anyway as you guys can see right now I've got a very wide camera angle you can see like most of my desk but we do have the mystery box down here and if I open this up a little bit you'll see what's inside we have Yo, look at this, man. Look at this. We have a birthday Pokemon mystery box. And once again, Kalshar has done a who's that Pokemon like little game on each box. We have so much stuff we can open here. And yeah, I really can't wait to see what we have in this box. And I just want to say thank you to everybody before we do jump into this opening right here. Just thank you for all the messages you guys have been sending me. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for tuning into the live streams. Thank you to Laura, who is behind here actually watching this video be filmed because she's she doesn't even know what's in here. <laughs> she's, she's excited too. And obviously, thank you very much to Kalshar as well for sorting this out. I'll leave a link to Kalshar's Instagram once again in the description uh, so go and check him out. Also I do believe Greater Gem also had a hand in helping with this box, uh, maybe without them even knowing but they definitely did. Uh, but yeah thanks to everyone, uh, I had a great birthday well it's my birthday today while I'm recording this but yeah everything's going amazing, thank you so much and uh, yeah let's get into this. So I'm tempted to take everything out just so I can zoom in the camera a little bit because it's going to be a little bit too zoomed out. So I'm going to take everything out real quick and uh, wow we have a lot of items here to open and I really can't wait for this um, oh my gosh oh my gosh and boom, here we go. Look at all these boxes, these Pokemon goodies, man. Yo, I'm so looking to be able to do this as a job and also get Pokemon stuff for my birthday. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let's zoom the camera in a little bit. There we go. That's what you guys are used to seeing. And um, let's begin. I don't know where to start, but I'm going to start with, you know what? I'm going to start with biggest first. So, okay, who's that Pokemon? And that is a Cosmog. I'm pretty sure. I'm not the best with Ultra Beast or Sun and Moon, you know, Pokemon, but uh, I'm pretty sure that is the Cosmog or the Cosmoem. No, Cos Cosmog, yeah. And, uh, okay, what, ooh! Oh, maybe the guess that Pokemon is actually related to what we get inside, because this is a Tapu Koko pin collection box. Oh, what's this? Who's that Pokemon? Answer. Oh, it's a Pokemon card! The answer is a Pokemon card, that's sick! Cosmog, let's go. Oi, thank you, Kalshar, and we got it correct, Cosmog. That's such a good way of doing it. And, uh, here we go, we have a pin collection box with... Is that Guardians Rising? I don't know what else is in there, but we have a Tapu Koko promo card. I'm hoping it's Burning Shadow. I don't know. Oh, I think it's all Guardian Rising. No, it's two Guardian Rising, one Steam Siege. Okay, so we'll check that out in a minute. Sometimes I'm tempted to keep stuff like this sealed, you know, and just put it on my shelf. So that might be one for that, you know. Okay. Right, next up, we're going to go for like the biggest first. I, th I think last time I went for the smallest ones first, but this time I'm going for the biggest ones. Um, and this one is a definitely a Stunfisk, okay? Who's that Pokemon? It is a Stunfisk. It might be a Galarian Stunfisk, but that if it is a Galarian one, it still counts. Mine it still counts, okay? So let's see what's in here. And oh, we have more bubble wrap. Mewtwo EX tin. Oh, who's that Pokemon? Answer, let's go. So it's definitely a Stunfisk, guys. There we go. Yeah, Stunfisk. I am two for two. I actually got the I got one wrong last time, didn't I? Which was sad, but uh, I won't I won't do that same thing this time. New two EX tin, 2012, black and white era. Woo! See, how again, do I keep these sealed or do I open them? I'll decide later. I'm gonna actually message Kalshar as well and say, what, what, what should I do with these? Okay, that's awesome. New two EX tin. Love that card as well. Um, and yeah, black and white era. Very nice. Completely sealed. Damn. I actually don't know which one that is. No, I hate these. I think it's Simi Seer. Or Simi Poor. Uh, that's Simi Seer. This one's Simi Seer. Oh, if I get this wrong, I hate these Pokemon. He's doing this on purpose as well. I hate these Pokemon. Okay, so we have some. Ooh, the top loader. We have some actual Pokemon cards here themselves. Let's see what this is. Okay, the Pokemon is a Simi Seer. Let's go. I got it correct. I mean, I hate this Pokemon, but uh, at least I got it correct. So thank you very much, Kalshar, for that. I'll put that with the rest of them. And uh, let's see what we have here. Ooh, Skarmory FB. What is this even from? Skarmory FB. Wow. Empoleon. See, I just wasn't around in this era, guys. I wasn't opening these cards. What are these? I'm guessing black and white era again. It must be. Oh, is this like Gym Leader's Returns? Like Gym Challenge Returns or something? That's sick. What's a free FP? Have a look. Oh, first place! Promo card. Pokemon League promo card. Kalshar, thank you so much. Oh, SP. These are all SP. Look, SP. I need to research these, guys. What are these? Oh, these are amazing. 
And another first place, Volcarona first place. Kashan knows that I actually like these uh, these first place or promo, anything that's like a staff card or a promo card, I love them. So yo, thank you very much for these, Kashan. And obviously Laura and her family, Laura's dad, granddad, etc. Thank you guys so much for setting this up, but I'm saying Kyle Shaw, because... You got, yeah, they, don't know, they, they don't know what's in it. <laughs> These are awesome. These are going to go into my collection for show. All right, okay. What's next, Laura? This one? Yeah. That is a croconaw. You know that. How do you know that? What's a croconaw? You don't even know what croconaw is. Uh, Laura's in the back, by the way. She's so eager to watch this um, as Laura got it at me for my birthday. Ooh, cardboard. You know when it's got a bit of cardboard on it, it's good. <gasps> oh. This is a vintage pack, guys. Oh. Who's that Pokemon answer? It is indeed a Croconaw. Let's go. I am four for four. Yeah, I'm four for four right now. And look at this, guys. Oh, we have a fossil booster pack, baby. That's going to have to get open. That's going to have to get open, guys. We're going to have to open this. Um, do not remove warranty protection. Ooh. All right, look, and Kalsha always like barcodes his packs, which is really cool. You got to try to do that, Kalsha. I need to do the same, man. Uh, next one, let's go for this. What is that? That's a Duskull. That's a Duskull. It's so sick, it's like my birthday. Well, it, well, it is my birthday, but like, it just feels like my birthday. Boom, Duskull, let's go, five for five. And we have some, oh, XY Furious Fists with the Mega Heracross on the front. These bad boys are definitely gonna get opened. I'm not sure the cards you can actually pull from these, but look at this artwork, man. Pokemon's the best franchise in the world. I, I love it so much. I mean, this is like a, this has been a Pokemon birthday. Laura did like a whole birthday like party thing for me in the house. I'll show a clip right now of that. And guys, it's just so amazing. Thank you to Laura. Uh, I know you're editing this right now. Thank you very much for setting this up for me. And you're right behind me as well. So just thank you. <laughs> okay, next up, that's a Remoraid. I have a Remoraid right here. Oh, <gasps> PSA card. We got a PSA card. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Oh, what's it gonna be, guys? Who's that Pokemon? Of course, it's a Remoraid. Let's go. You can't come for me. And what is this? Okay, the back looks good. It is a... Oh! It is an Ekans first edition fossil gem mint 10. Let's go. Thank you, Kalshaw. That is amazing. Oh, let's go. We got to, yo, I gotta collect every Ekans in existence in Gemini 10. Look at that design as well. That's such a sick design. Oh my life. This takes you back. First edition fossil Gemini 10. Yo, shout out to Kyle Shaw. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you got this from Greater Gem as well. So Greater Gem, if you guys ever see any more Ekans come through, give me dibs, guys. I'll buy them all from you. Uh, but yo, let's go, guys. Do a like in the video right now for this card right here. Oh, let's go, baby. You guys know I love Ekans. Snake backwards, my guy. Let's go. I'm gonna go for this one as well. This one like looks like it's got some cardboard back in as well. Let's take a look at this. Oh, that's a Slugma balls. That's a Slugma. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Sick. What is that? Is that Dream League? What is that? Anyway, it is a Slugma, of course. There we go. What are these? This one's super heavy. No, this is not Dream League. I don't know what these are, you know. Oh, there's two here. That's why it's heavy. Ah, of course. Oh. There's three. I'm gonna keep these, you know. That is Tag Team GX, yeah. That's the, okay, I'm gonna keep these, actually. Because I actually I actually do need to... Sorry, guys. I had it down here. I'm looking with my eyes, not on the screen. I need to like, actually start collecting more like sealed stuff, and I really want to do that. Uh, especially pack artwork. I know Cal Shaw himself is going for like one of every pack artwork in X and Y and Sun and Moon, I think. So I'd love to do something similar to that as well. Just to keep the history, you know. It's just nice to have the history. Not everything needs to be opened all the time. SM6. So yeah, Sun and Moon 6... Sun yeah, Sun and Moon 6B, Sun and Moon 7, Sun and Moon 9. Yeah, fair enough. And then um, Sun and Moon 8. Nice. Yeah, I'm going I'm to keep these sealed, you know. I'm, I'm going to start a collection. I'm going to start a sealed pack collection. I know a lot of collectors out there do that, and I don't do that enough. Um, and it's, I think it's a good purchase as well for, like, investment or value for money as well. So I'm definitely going to do that. And I think it's great to, like, capture a period of time as well. Sometimes when you open the packs and you have the card, it's hard to actually, like, picture the time and place they were actually created, if that makes sense, or released. And I'm not sure why, but I also love having, like, packs sealed again with a sleeve. It just makes them feel, like, legit, you know? So awesome. I'm still going to open the fossil one, though, but I can always get another one in the future. Thank you, Kyle Shaw, for that. That is amazing. Okay, next up. The Ekans so far is my highlight. It has to be. I wonder if we can pull an Ekans in that fossil pack, non-first edition. That would be sick as well. So next one. Oh, Horsey. Yeah, Horsey. Oh, there we go. There's the answer. Right there. Let me zoom out again for you guys a little bit. And we have a... Oh! Oh, no way! Oh! Yo! We have an Ekans sticker! Gotta catch them all stickers. Yo, Mum! Are you watching this, Mum? Can you remember these? 
Oh, we used to have loads of these. These are sick. Oh, I got Magnum Ite as well. Let's see what he gave us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So with Magnum Ite and Ekans, we have a... Oh, these are just more. Oh, look at that. That's sick. Yeah, I remember, I remember these. Do you guys remember these as well? I used, to have an, I used to have a whole book of these, I'm sure. Bulbasaur and Pikachu. Oh, these take you back. These take you back. Ekans again. Is that Ekans eating a... That Ekans is eating the Pidgey. Flipping egg. That's vicious. The Ekans shiny right there. A Misty and... Um, Oh, missed his sister from the Celeroot set from the Cerulean Gym. Oh, I got a Gengar. I love. I used to love the Gengar from Gen One, like the Gen One artwork style. Just so dark and so like creepy, you know. Oh, Kalshaw, thank you very much for these, man. That is awesome. We've got some packs here as well. You know what? I might open all these packs in a separate video because I have some more packs I got from my mum as well. My mum bought me some Hidden Fates packs, so I might like have this video as the mystery box opening and then do a video where it's like opening the cards I got for my birthday. I think that's good as well. It keeps you guys interested, you know, it keeps you guys aware. And also, I can actually figure out what I want to open and what I want to keep. Uh, I want to do a bit of research, you know, and uh, figure out what I want to do here. But it's not over yet, guys, at all. We have, next up, we have a uh, Ponyard. Ponyard. I forgot a second. I was going to say Bishop, but that's its father. <laughs> or it's <laughs> the evolu ev evolution. All right, so what's this one? This one is, ooh, okay. Answer is right here. And obviously, it is a Ponyard. You guys know how we do. There we go. And what is this? Some more stickers! Some more stickers! Oh, no way. Is that Hidden Fates? Let's go. We've got an Ekans right here. That's a Tops... Oh, no, not, not stickers, sorry. A Tops Chrome card. Yo, I'm getting that graded, man. Graded gem, watch out. Oh, look at Ek I actually, I actually do really like Ekans as a Pokemon, you know? I can't even lie. I do like his Pokemon. Like, but before the whole meme started, Ekans is a deadly Pokemon owned by Jesse of Team Rocket, and she has trained it to attack its foes without mercy, squeezing the life out of its opponents. Ekans moves silently and stealthily and is known to eat the eggs of birds such as Pidgey and Spearow. Wow, Laura. First appearance, episode two, Pokemon Emergency. Who's that Pokemon? Answer on card 47. Well, that's a Parasect. So, you don't have to scroll to page 47, because I got you. Ah, oh, sick. And then what is this? Please tell me this is just a bunch of... Yes, let's go. A bunch of Ekans from Hidden Fates. Let's go. And these right here will go to all of the Gem Mint 10 members on the channel. So if you're a tier 3 subscriber on Twitch or a Gem Mint 10 subscriber on YouTube, you will get a sign one of these sent to your address, along with uh, some more useful goodies like discount codes for Pokerand and also a follow on Twitter or Instagram. And of course, access to my private Discord channels. And uh, yeah, there's all the Ekans cards I've got today. Look at this. So sick. Uh, hopefully there's some more Ekans stuff to come. Next up we have, let's go for, let's go for this one right here. That is a Scatterbug right there. Yep, there we go. Scatterbug. Very nice. Oh, so let's go. Oh, yo, we got a gem in 10 flipping Lugia coin. Look at that. So gradergem.com guys, go and check them out. They also do graded coins, which I think is awesome. I have a coin that I want to send to them, but I haven't like sleeved it up or anything. It's just like out and about. Where is it, Laura? It's on my desk somewhere. But yeah, I need to send that to them. It's from the Charizard set from the VMAX. Uh, Charizard VMAX new set thingy. But yo, look at this. Lugia, man. Gem in 10 PSA coin. Oh, imagine you can take this actual tournaments and be like, Tails. <laughs> but that's sick. Obviously, you guys know Lugia, one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, and yeah, we have two more things left, guys. Two more left. We have a Hound Door right here. Let's go with the Hound Door first. And we've got some more cards in top loaders, which is always a good sign of something good to come. Obviously, everything from Calshot is always well packaged. You guys know this. Uh, Hound Door, there we go. Correct again. And let's see what we have here, guys. So we have... Oh, we have a Lugia EX. I remember this. This is from Steam Siege. No, Ancient Origins. Or Steam Siege. I have this. I have, I have this, but I don't have it, like... Not, not in my binder, so I'm definitely going to get this one graded if it's good enough, Cal. Uh, I have to get, I have to collect more Lugia cards, man. It's a must. I love this Pokemon so much. Zoroark GX as well. Very nice. We have a Wyveltal and a oh Reshiram Hollow. Let's go. Love that. Oh, this is from Shining Legends, right? No, what's this from, Laura? Is that from Shining Legends? It might be. There we go. Oh, Melotic, beautiful Pokemon. Oh, we got a Wulu is there. A Sword and Shield promo. Very nice. We have a Sableye. Very cool there. Uh, that's from, that's a promo card. That's the ancient trait cards, I do believe. Uh, yep. 
We have a Malamar as well. Another promo. Oh, we got a Shining Celebi. Let's go. Oh, I love this card, man. I love Celebi. I love Shining Celebi. There's rumored. There's rumored from Celebi. Well, I think. Yeah, it's rumored around after Cerebi released the announcement of the new uh, Zarud movie that's coming out, Coco, soon, that features a shiny Celebi in it, that there will be a shiny distribution on Pokemon Sword and Shield of a Celebi, which is going to be amazing, can't wait for that. However, Joe has also announced that the movie is being pushed back a little bit, obviously because of uh, Corona and uh, everything else. But yo, look at this. A little bit of white in the corner, but that's okay. We've got a shiny Celebi right here. Beautiful card, man. I love the Shining card, and I'm so glad they brought them back, actually. Um, obviously, from being the OG cards back in the day. And I'll Oh, we have two more like, extras, sorry. We have a Floatzel and a Ferris Seed. Like, this one's making me nervous, though. Because it is a Ferris Seed, but it could be something else. Okay, let's go for the Floatzel first. Oh, okay. Let's go. It's a Floatzel or a Weasel. We've got a Burning Shadows pack, which is sick. I'll definitely open that in the next video, for sure. Buizel! I said Floatzel. <laughs> but I said Buizel at the end. It's a Buizel. <laughs> okay, Buizel. We have Burning Shadows, and what else? Two Burning Shadows? Let's go! We could get the Charizard, guys. We could get the Hyper Rare Charizard, which would be absolutely amazing. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow or the next day for that video when I open all of these uh, products. And guys, last but not least, we have a Ferris Seed. It could be something else. It could trick me. I'm sure it's a Ferris Seed, man. Yeah, there we go. Ferris Seed, phew. And we got code cards! 50 Sword and Shield codes. Let's go, guys. I'm going to open these up on camera for you guys on the digital game, Pokemon trading card game online sometime soon. And yo, okay, let's, let's, get, let's get a shot with everything included. And guys, there you have it. Here we go. Here's everything in this massive, humongous Pokemon birthday mystery box. Carl Shaw, thank you so much for organizing this. Laura and your family, thank you so much for actually like purchasing this and supplying me with this. Obviously, I had no idea this was coming, so not only do we get a banging video, we also get an amazing gift. Um, which I'm really excited to, to tear into these packs, uh, the, those that I do open. And like I said before, guys, I will be opening some of these things uh, tomorrow or the next day on my channel. Uh, I'm definitely going to be opening the Fossil Booster Pack right here, the Burning Shadows. Actually, you know what? I'll probably open quite a few things here. Um, but yeah, obviously, as you can see, we have Furious Fists. We have some Japanese Sun and Moon packs right there. I'm not sure exactly on the sets from Japan, on the names, but I can research that soon uh, when I do open them. Uh, obviously, I wasn't opening Japanese products at that time as well, so that's why I don't know. We have the Pokemon stickers, which I'm very thankful for. Gemin 10 Lugia coin. Ekans first edition fossil uh, PSA 10. Let's go. Burning Shadows, the Ekans tops card right here. Some more stickers, which I'll open as well. I need to research what these are. These are definitely SP promos. I'm not sure exactly what they're about, but I've, I've, I think I've heard of them. We have the Avalug and the Volcarona first place Pokemon League promo cards as well. Uh, we have the down here, we have a bunch of nice cards here, some promo cards, uh, obviously the Shining Celebi as well. We have the Tapu Koko Pink Collection Box, the Mewtwo EX um, Tin, Collection Tin, the Ekans, and I believe that is everything, Laura, right? Laura and uh, your family, I don't want to say your names in case you want to keep it private. But thank you guys so much. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support from the birthday as well. All the messages and everything. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for some more Pokemon content. For now, though, leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite thing from this mystery box. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I'll see you guys tomorrow. For now, though, take care and peace out.